Welcome back to another Venus Yay! Yeah. <laughs> season four, episode thirty-five. Woo! Yay! Yay! Yeah, yeah, you got it. No, um, I love how you did the Kermit there. That was good. Yeah. All right, <laughs> season four, episode thirty-five. Here we go. Yay! Yeah. I have a big announcement. Wow! To make. A big announcement. Let's jump well, right in. Maybe we can on the air? <laughs> yes. Okay, and let's do it. Here we go. Breaking news here on the Strivecast. Big announcement. Well, this Thursday, we are going into Strive 25 and up this Week. That's right. Strive 25 back in person this Thursday, June 2nd. Yeah. Yay. Find out more on our website, right? And find out more to sign up to it to call in Ms. Alex or Whitney to get your info of the Strive. 25 and up. That's right. Except 25 and older. <laughs> okay. Well, that's it, some important news right out of the bat. Is it's that it? To a bang. It, it, yeah. Is that okay for we record or do we, I don't know what Wayne has to do with that. Yeah, sure. Okay. It's your show. You tell me. Yeah. How about, how about one thing? How about we introduce ourselves before we go too deep? No, Pa Thompson, homie T. Yeah. Right. And his co-host. I'm Jeff. All right. Then Padusa. I mean, I'm Jeff. Uh, happy Jeff. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Thank you. Susie, would you uh, like to go next? I think Whitney Susan Wiles will go next. I think you just introduced Whitney Susan Wiles. Hi, I'm Whitney. <laughs> Hi, Whitney. How you Hi, doing? Jeff. I'm good. Thank you. Okay, in prayer of Crumb of Hurt and it's Susie Coolier in the house. And I am a speaking good producer. All right, you are a good producer. And how about our sound and video engineer? I am Ryan, the sound and video engineer. <laughs> Don't forget one more person. Oh, two more people, right? Alex, would you like to go? Sure. Hello. I'm your current Susie's Cues leader, Alex. Oh, <laughs> That's right. She and I, is. And I am yeah. not. I am Pete. Yeah. Welcome yeah. back to the Strivecast. <laughs> I thought that was going to be your breaking news, Susie, that you were going to, all the questions today were going to be worth like 25 points or something. <laughs> it will be. Oh, good. Love it. A lot of math for me. A lot of math. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Anything else we want to talk about um, before we dive into another episode? Let it go. Yes. Jeff, anything you want to talk about before we get started? Uh, nope. I'm going to pee. All right. Then why don't you take us to break? Okay. We'll be right back. Welcome to Strivecast. Can you tell us about yourselves? Um, well, my name's Liam. I'm from Chevres, and we've been doing a service project where we've been working with Strive for about a month now. Today's our last day. Um, I first heard about Strive with my sister because she's been going here for years, and um, it's just a pretty <laughs> awesome program. And I just thought I'd like to be a part of it. So it's kind of about me a little bit. And I'm Sage. Um, I'm also from Chevers doing my May project with Strive. Noel? No, that was Noel. Sorry, Jeff? Yes. Um, 
what is the the best part about working at Strive? Uh, the best part for me is definitely like the people here. The community is just so good, and everybody here is just super nice. And everybody works hard here. Everybody has a good time. And I guess if I had to like narrow it down to like a specific thing, it's probably the bowling, even though I'm not that good at it. <laughs> oh, yeah. You are good at bowling. Don't say that. Nope. nope. <laughs> <laughs> Don't say that, Liam. It's true. Oh, thank you. But if, oh, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. No. Hold on, no. hold on. Um, for me, the best part was definitely being able to meet so many new people. Good. Now, Noel, go ahead. What is something you are looking, learning to look at Strive? What is something you learned working at Strive? I think that's it. Yeah. Okay. Um, so many things. I think the biggest takeaway that I have is definitely that I'm not that good at bowling. But <laughs> <laughs> Don't say no, that. Like, <laughs> yeah, like seriously though, um, I guess like the biggest learning thing I've had is just like kind of like what goes on here because I've grown up around it for so long and I never really knew what happens here but now I get to experience it first like firsthand and it's pretty awesome like just all the hard work that goes into every day here is just incredible. I totally agree with Liam. Maybe you're a better folder though Sage we don't know we didn't put you to the test. <laughs> <laughs> Jeff? Sage. <laughs> What is something you are looking uh, forward to a, a after graduation? Oh man, so many things. Um, well, I'm looking forward to coming back. I'm probably going to be coming back around July to do some more work here. Um, but kind of like what's first on the chopping block is I'm going to be going up north to my cabin for a week with a bunch of my friends and stuff. So that's probably the first thing I'm looking forward to <laughs> on the long list of many things. Um, I'm looking forward to going to college and living on my own. When's graduation? The 6th. June 6th. Okay. Coming right up. Right up. Next that's week. coming right up. Saturday, right? That's awesome. Yeah. Uh, Noel, I think you've got one more. What is your favorite memory from working at Strive? Oh, man. I don't even know where to start. I Honestly, I'd have to, like, break it down into every week because I just, I've made so many memories here that are going to last me so long. Um, just to name a few, the cleaning day was super fun. Um, the barbecue with that was also really fun. Bowling with Eric was probably the highlight. <laughs> He's really funny. And um, uh, and Strive Rocks, too, was pretty cool, even though I was kind of sick, but it was fun. Yeah, I agree. Strive Rocks was really fun. I also had a lot of fun every day eating lunch outside with everyone and getting to know everyone. Great. So, guys, what's the time for now? We move into the next round. It's the, the, light, the lightning. Right. Right. So this is a little less scripted. Ready. <laughs> uh, okay. Jeff, you kick off the lightning round, my friend. Book it up. Um, <laughs> uh, what is um, your favorite restaurant and why? Ooh, favorite restaurant. Ooh, that's a tough one. Um, oh, <laughs> I'm going to say Tuscan Table because I work there and I get a good discount to eat there. So. <laughs> <laughs> um, I would say Kobe because I like that they oh, cook yeah, the good. food right in front of you. 
the good ones. No? Okay. So, would you rather live in... Oh, no. If, <laughs> if, if you were a... a if you were a, a animal in the ocean, what kind of animal do you like to be? Shark. A shark? I'd go with seahorse. Seahorses are pretty cool. That's right. <laughs> See? Mm -hmm. She's being a fan. <laughs> Jeff, I do. <laughs> um, uh, what is if uh, yeah, um, a, uh, a dog or a cat? Dogs. Dogs. No? Oh, a pup. Oh, okay. What is your favorite furniture? <laughs> favorite piece of furniture? <laughs> Probably the super cheap couch that I bought from Walmart that's in my room. It's, uh, it's actually pretty comfortable. <laughs> Probably my bed. <laughs> right. Jeff, you got one more? Um... Um, I think here, um, ice cream or hot dog? Two very different things. <laughs> ice cream. I'm going to go hot dog. Is it red hot dog or brown hot dog, though? Because I would probably change my answer. Um, either. I'd go, I'd go brown hot dog, then. Okay. Hey, Susie, you got one? Finally, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I um what is your favorite drink of the mall? Favorite drink of the mall? Oh I think I think you say what's your favorite kind of drink when you buy one at the mall? <laughs> of the mall, I think not. I think oh, I think she said at the mall. Um favorite <laughs> drink of all time. I'm talking to that one. They're both going to answer. They're both going to Everybody <laughs> answers every question. Oh, yeah. <laughs> my favorite drink is Sprite. There you go. Oh, oh mine does too. I thought yours was Perfect. Diet Coke. <laughs> no, girl. My <laughs> um, Mine is probably... Yeah, you. <laughs> Um, I like a good flavored water, honestly. Ooh, me too. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm not a big fan of sparkling, though. I can't drink too much or all sorts of bird. And then, Ryan, you get the last word. Would you like to give our famous question? Tell us your best joke. Oh, man, are you going to put me on the spot like that? Um, it's me. I'm just dead. Oh, oh man. And if you don't have one, that's all right. No, I definitely <laughs> have one. I think they found the right one. Does anybody have oh, a joke that they'd like to give? Why did I... the chicken cross the road? Oh, to get to the oh, other side. To get to the other side. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> that, that's that's you have one? my best joke. I just can't think. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I have one. Not right. not. I think Noel's got one, too. Okay, go ahead. Knock knock. Who's there? Who's there? Doctor. Doctor Who. That Doctor Who. <laughs> really? <laughs> That's not a joke. <laughs> Who's at the door? Okay. Or says a pun within the knock knock. Knock knock. Susie, go for it. Knock knock. I said knock knock. Oh, the door's getting knocked on here. <laughs> Susie, go. Let Susie go first. Jeff, then you can go. Okay. Who's there? Uh, Apple. Apple who? Apple you. Apple iPhone. <laughs> <laughs> I walked right into that. Yeah, right, Jeff, go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> knock, knock. Who's there? Aren't you glad I didn't say 
banana. You missed a lot of the joke. <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to move things along. <laughs> <laughs> wow all right wow anything else i think Liam and kiki are the best That's friends it. we ever had on stage, yeah. stage also but they are the best fam in the whole world. Oh, thank, thank you. you. <laughs> well, thank you for all the work you've yes. done for the past month. It's really helped us and has made a difference and our guys have sure. getting to know you. So we just wanted to say thank you for, for selecting Strive. We've loved having you. Thank you for having us. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're very welcome. <laughs> thank you, Jeff. <laughs> yeah. You guys are the best. Remember, I'm Jeff. Jeff. Oh, Jeff. We know you're Jeff. Oh, <laughs> Jeff, would you like to take a break? <laughs> oh, yes, Pete. We'll be right back. Drivecast is brought to you by him. Jeff? Your ad is right here. All right, Jeff, I think we were talking off air about a summer special. Would you like to tell our listeners and viewers about it? Um, uh, um, get down and, 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 and sell it and check it. That's right. How much is the summer special? Uh, actually, uh, that's, that's what I meant, Whitney. I know, but how much? Uh, ten dollars. Ten bucks! Wow, oh. a steal! What a wow. deal! Usually how twenty, much? thirty. Is it usually dollars an episode? Yeah. <laughs> right. Hell, it's a summer special. <laughs> Only ten. Uh, uh, yes. Uh, uh, come on down and get this thing for uh, get our special for ten dollars. Right. Come on down and get the special. Yeah. yeah, you can get it just by emailing us at strivecast at pslstrive.org. Let us know. Put summer special in the subject. And plus, if you do that, Whitney will get on board. Whitney will get on board. <laughs> I am on board already. He's on board the summer special. <laughs> All right. And it gets you several mentions throughout the podcast, uh, mentions on all of our social media as we promote the podcast. You know, you can't beat that for 10 bucks an episode, really. So we're really? at least really? 25. Hey, Pete. Come on. Okay. All right, Jeff, would you like to take us to break? Uh, yes, uh, Pete. We'll be right back. You're right. You're it's time for he's cute. Uh, yeah. Waiting for the very moment. She's cute. She's cute. Everyone is cute. She's cute. Ooh. Ooh. Uh, yeah. And before we get started today, would we like a reminder of the scores? Oh, yes. yes. Oh, yes. Always. <laughs> no, thank you. <laughs> All right. Remember, we have a tie. Mm. So in fifth Alex place. Alex and I are tied for first. That's right. <laughs> in fifth place, we have Susie with 71 points. In fourth place, we have Jeff with 76 points. Uh, in third place, we have Pete with 98 points. In a tie for really? We have Noel and Ryan with 108 points. And in first place is Alex with 150 <laughs> points. Yeah, legendary. One. Legendary. That's right, Noel, legendary. <laughs> so All right. Real. Susie, what are the cues about today? If you're listening on the audio, you can't see that. 
Sharing the picture in her plain piece of paper. Mm-hmm. It is about oh. smiling. Oh. All right. It is easier to a family to a smile. So true or false? It is easier to frown than it is to smile. Oh, so this is about smiles. That is correct. And we will start with Susie. True. True. Alex. I'm going to go with false because I want it to be false. All right. Noel. Thoughts. Jeff. Uh, Whitney, I'm going to go with uh, true. Ryan. False. And Pete. False. False. A smile. All right. The answer is false. Even though you use more muscle groups, 10 to be exact, and 6 to frown, it is easier to smile than to frown. Thanks for Alex, Noel, Ryan, and Pete. Mine is good for your health and well being. Is that true or false? <laughs> Or false. Smiling is good for your health and well-being. And we will go backwards and start with Pete. I'm going to go with true, Whitney. True. True. Ryan. True. Jeff. Uh, false. False. Noel. I think true. Alex. True. And Susie. False. False. Well, Susie, you and Jeff should not team up together anymore because the answer is true. Smiling reduces blood pressure, boosts your immune system, will give you more promotions, and you'll be seen as more attractive, and it will help you live longer. The answer is true. This is because the men in this game. (laughs) That's right. So this one is the last question. It is not true and false. So last question already? Yep. So we can like allot some points if we want to. A lot of points. Susie. Yo. How many points for if you get it exactly right? 20. 20 for spot on. 20 to what? And then what about closest without going over? I like the way you think, Suze. I like the way you think. I like this. I like this one. Go ahead. Alex is just looking to embarrass us now. (laughs) Is it it 20 to 10? Yes. You get 20 points if you get it exactly right, or 10 points closest without going over. Okay. It it will be. Girls against the boys. I think the girls go first in this one. Well, why don't you read the question? <laughs> if women smiles in average 65 two times a day, that means as can you guess how many times the Man! Why are you putting that in quotes? <laughs> smile in orange in on orange. It is a number that a number between one and twenty. All right. So the question again is: If women smile on average. 62 times a day. Can you guess how many times men smile on average? Hint, it is a number between 1 and 20. Wow, I was going to guess less, but that's a lot less. (laughs) So, we will start with Alex. I'm going to go with... Seven. Seven. <laughs> Noel. 
I'm going with um uh I'm going with uh probably uh ten. Ten. All right. Well, one of you got it exactly right. And that person is Peter Brown. The answer is eight. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Twenty points for Pete. Wow. Let's go. Smile. <laughs> there's, there's one of my eight right there. <laughs> so hold, please. Also, men smile way less than women. Way less. Way times less. a day. 62 to eight. Oh, they don't. <laughs> yeah. oh, good job, Pete. That was not at all well, luck. <laughs> no, they don't actually. You know? We do. You smile way more. We do because we are the girls, and girls be happy. <laughs> the man does. Oh, right, I didn't realize that's the dramatic difference, though. Alrighty, I have the scores. Let's hear it. And there has been some movement today. In fifth place, we have Susie with seventy-one points. Yes! We have Jeff still with 76 points. We now have a tie for third place with 110 points each. Noel and Ryan. Pete has moved into second place with 120 points. Whoa. And in first place is still Alex with 153 points. Whoa. Yeah. Go, Alex. <laughs> we go, Al. I'm so proud of you. All right. <laughs> You're welcome. Why don't you sing us out? Alex beat everyone. Sad for tea. Pete is not good. Being what? Being what? Being what? Oh yeah! That's a bad one. It beats the cool yeah. <laughs> oh yeah! And no offense to you, Pete, but I love Whitney and Alex. <laughs> offense taken. That's a long song. All right, Jeff, would you like to take us to right? <laughs> uh, yes, uh, Pete. We'll be right back. Okay. Time for Pop Culture with Noel. Pop Culture with Noel. Oh, okay. So... Let's see. Um, a film, a speech. Uh, about a movie to know what can it tell about the, the one with the ball. Then there was a if you can dodge a car, but don't dodge a ball, and it's a movie. Dodge with ball. Ben <laughs> and if you go out to a place, don't get hit because the ball will hit you, but cars stop before you wait for the cars. So when you come out, then when you come in, you're safe, and the ball you catch, you come back. The end. Is that a movie, or you're just telling a story? Or is that a poem? A, a story about the movie Dodgeball. Freedom of speech. <laughs> I you started it with that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so a couple, couple things we should <laughs> address here. Number one, thanks for everybody that voted in our 
Instagram poll about what movie Noel should review. I believe, correct me if I'm wrong, guys, but uh, <clears throat> what movie one? Incredibles Se- 2. Incredibles 2. The yes. winner. Sorry, we talked about that in our pre production meeting, and Noel has it locked and loaded on Disney Plus, but has not had a chance to watch it yet. So can't well, can't review the movie until he's watched it. So that'll be some homework for this week, and he'll review Incredibles 2 next week. Yeah. Another thing I think we should address is we did uh, solve a mystery on Friday night. Um, <laughs> Noel, if you're a loyal listener to the podcast, Noel broke some news a couple weeks ago, I believe, two episodes ago, that there was someone from the cast of Scrubs that had moved to Portland. However, we could not identify him other than it was a male cast member. So, Turns out it was not from the show Scrubs. But, Noel, who was it? It, it was um, f- from that show... Um, Grey's Anatomy, right? Grey's Anatomy, yeah. And who oh, was it? heard that show too i was watching it too oh it was he patrick was, dempsey right yes yeah yeah was patrick he, dempsey was, who was in was, portland um what was, was he the tall older man he's dr mcdreamy everybody loves <laughs> him he was mcdreamy yeah. dr dreamy <laughs> <laughs> so unfortunately to the best of our knowledge no one from scrubs has moved to Portland. Um, but if you also, have a celebrity sighting, let us know. I also like, believe that Patrick Dempsey does not live in Portland, but was here to throw out the first pitch at the Sea Dogs game. Yes. Yeah, in recognition, I think of all his work he's done with the Dempsey Center. So mm-hmm. congratulations, we, Patrick Dempsey. <laughs> yes. Could you please respond to our <laughs> tweets with cats begging you to come on the show? What yes. did Wit say? I bought the spud. Please see dogs. She loves them. That's why Patrick Dempsey was here to throw out the first pitch last week. We should have gone to the sign and said, Go on the show. Show that. <laughs> yeah. Right. There's, a, there's, another, show that. there's another last name of the sea dogs, but his last name is like Star Wars. Um, um, the last name of the Sea Dogs? One of the players is Skywalker. Oh, very cool. One of his last names. Hmm. Anything else under pop culture with Noel? Nope. Noel? That's it. Okay. I think before, just a, a special treat for our viewers um, that watch the podcast. Noel, can you show everybody your shirt today? Oh, yes. If, if this is pretty cool, Noel has a shirt of what his album cover I think would look like. It's a picture of him. Can you so get closer? Yeah, get a little closer. There you go. If, if you're watching, or sorry, if you're listening to the audio podcast, it is a yeah. image of Noel wearing some cool shades, laying down on a bench. Looks like in front of a boat in Booth Bay Harbor. Are you asleep in that picture? No, just chilling. <laughs> so. Very cool shirt, which I thought should be. We could probably sell those, Noel, in the yeah. store. If they if they have a bunch of those, well, we could take orders. I think so. Email us at strivecast at pslstrive.org if you'd like the Noel album cover shirt. Yeah. Okay. Very cool. <laughs> Anything else, Noel? I don't think so. I don't either. All right, Jeff, want to take us to break? I uh, guess. Uh, P. Um, we'll be right back. We're back. It's time for my segment. Jeff's segment. My segment. The big question with Jeff. Hold on to your seats. Do you have a big question for us today, Jeff? Uh, yes, I actually do. Ooh, okay. What is it? Um, um, uh, how, uh, big is a giant? Um, 
kangaroo. <laughs> oh, giant! I think. How big is a giant kangaroo? I think it's a ten foot nine hundred feet. Um, please hold. Well, if they had a baby Joey in the pouch, be nice too. Anyone have any guesses on this? Aren't kangaroos very big to begin with? Well, I will share that it's actually the red, red kangaroo is the biggest species. Like 10 foot tall? Um, hold on. That's. Looking, more, though. Looking, looking. It's like 25 um, feet tall. No, that I think would be a really, really big one. All right. So this is an average. I don't think they have one largest kangaroo but the average red kangaroo stands approximately four foot nine from the um, top of the head from the tail to the top of the head large mature males can stand more than five foot nine with the largest one having been around six foot nine and weighed oh. about 201 pounds so it looks like six nine two oh one is the largest recorded red kangaroo oh that's pretty is big it, is it violent uh let me go back and check <laughs> uh behavior um most interactions occur between young males they engage in ritualized fighting known as boxing um However, compared to other kangaroo species, fights between red kangaroo males tend to involve more wrestling. Oh. Um, and they establish dominance amongst the males and determine who gets to be with the ladies. And then displaced males, whoever loses the fight, lives alone and avoids close contact with others. Oh, that's not nice. <laughs> Sad. Um, I think that's all I got. What about if the kangaroo put us on boxing gloves? That would really, I think they've tried to do that in some places. Yeah. That's all I know about red kangaroos. Uh, I would not mess with a six foot nine, 200 pound kangaroo. No. All right. Um, Jeff, did that answer your big question? Uh, uh, yes, but I have a very small question. Ooh. Um, what is a land uh, turtle? What is a land turtle? <laughs> like yeah. the smallest land turtle? You mean like how big? Yeah. How small? Um, I don't know what a land turtle is. <laughs> Anyone? Is that like a snapping turtle? Or what? Oh. Land turtles is a turtle. Uh. There are also land turtles are more commonly known as tortoises. Mm. If that helps you. Yeah, a tortoise and a hare. Yeah. Shut up, thanks. That mm. helps. Um, okay, wow. They have a very wide variety of size. Are we ready for the answer? You want me to shut it out, or anybody want to jump in here on the whole land? I think we're ready. The land <laughs> the turtle answer. segment. Here. Um, yeah. They range in size from one half inch to six and a half feet long. Uh, half an inch? Half an inch. A wide range. A very small question. To six and a half feet long, these herbivores eat mostly plants and vegetables. Land turtles can thrive in a variety of different climates, including tropical forests and blistering hot desert sand. Mm. Tortoises can live for a very long time. It is not uncommon for a tortoise to live well over 100 years of age. The oldest known tortoise on record, Adwadia, lived to be 255 years old. Oh, wow. wow. It had been given to the Alpuri Zoo in India by a British general in 1876. It was assumed to be 150 years old at its, his death in 2006. However, once his shell had been carbon dated, researchers found that Edwadia, whose name means only one, was actually born somewhere between 1751 and 1756. They're the oldest 
one of Earth's oldest creatures. Does it look like does it look like Yoda before the Toto died? Yes. Oh. And this is all this information, all all my information about tortoises slash land turtles is from animals.mom.com <laughs> backslash land turtles. If you'd like to learn more about tortoises. <laughs> Jeff, did that answer your question? So they can be quite small or quite large and very old. Uh, yes, Pete, that was my question. All right. Well, then would you like to take us to break, sir? Uh, yes, Pete. We'll be right Livecast is brought to you by listeners like you. Joseph Cassidy. Joseph Cassidy. Thanks for listening. We appreciate it. And who wants to tell everybody how they can be? The next listener of the week, like right here on the Stratcast. Oh, Talk into Whitney Susan Wires and she will pick it up. That's probably the hardest way, but there's some easier ways. There's still, there's still higher. Email wit wit and she will void to talk to you. How about you just give us a like on Facebook? Or Instagram, or LinkedIn, or YouTube, or share listen to your favorite podcast. And Strive is still hiring. <laughs> yes, and Strive is still hiring. <laughs> all right. And it's all about that as we wrap it up. All right. And thanks for listening to Joseph Cassidy. And uh, Jeff, would you like to take us to break? Uh, yes. Uh, P, we'll be right back. Time to <laughs> wrap it up. Wrap it up. up. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Oh, wrap yeah. It up. Wrap it up. I love this excitement. Oh, yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. Look at the oh, dance yeah. moves on here. Um, Noel, do you have a wrap it up sandwich of the week? A wrap it up wrap? <laughs> I do. Yes, let's hear it. It's a chicken club. If you have a chicken club sandwich, don't forget to club to golf at the expo. If you have a chicken club sandwich, don't forget the club. Do you like the expo? You get a chicken club. The club. A, a club a stick. And a golf stick. Okay. <laughs> you heard it here first. The club stick sandwich. You mean a golf club? Yeah. Golf club sandwich? Rap. Rap? Yeah. Ew. All right. What? Did you listen to the, on our social media, did you see Strive Worldwide's question on Fun Fact Friday? Oh, the yes. The dictionary has considered a hot dog a sandwich. What do we think on that? Is a hot dog a, is a, hot dog a sandwich? Yes. No. Ryan says yes. Susie says no. Alex says no. Oh, yes. Says no. No. Hot dog a sandwich? It's no. kind of a sandwich, but it's a half, not a full sandwich. So if you had two hot dogs, is that a full sandwich? But if you have two hot dogs, like, but you have the bun, do you put two meat hot dogs in one bun? Or just have one dog in one bun and have the other dog like a sandwich, but don't cut it? I don't Does that, if two dogs in one bun? Some sandwiches have a bun, though, like that. All right, Jeff, you have the final word on this. Is a hot dog a sandwich? I vote no. Um, uh, I vote no. I, you say no, I do no. Okay. That was a consensus. 62% of voters said no, a hot dog is not a sandwich. The dictionary says yes. So, but... The dictionary is wrong. I think it technically classifies as it meant. I think no. they're right. Fight another day. Well, some, yep. well people have their opinions where they saw they though. Yeah. That's right. Okay, so now what? 
Goodbye to the audience. Goodbye to the audience. But before we do that, we got a couple things. Ryan, are we still hiring? Yes, we are. Uh, Strive is still hiring with a sign-in bonus of one thousand seven hundred fifty dollars. Um, check out pflstrive.org/employment wow. for more information on employment opportunities. That sounds great. Thank you, Ryan. <laughs> and Whitney. Yes. What's coming up? What is coming up, Pete? The Beach to Beacon is coming up. And the Beach to Beacon is back in person this year, August 6th in Cape Elizabeth. And we have a limited number of bibs available if you would like to participate in this year's Beach to Beacon. All we ask is that you fundraise in support of Strive in return for the bib. So if you have questions or know of people that would want a bib, or if you yourself would like a bib, email me at wilds at pslstrive.org. Okay. He will answer you. He will answer you. Back. I will answer you. And maybe we should thank our guests today, too. Yeah, Sage and Liam. Thank you. Sage and Liam, thank you. And we should thank them for doing their May project with Chevrolet with us during the month of May. Thank you, uh, guests. Thank you very much. Stace and Liam, you get the best you can walk on. That's right. Rock <laughs> on. Uh, Liam is Ariana's brother. That is correct. All right. Anything else? I do have one more. Okay. I, I, I head on there. Uh, but it's about a, a, a race in September. About our 5K? If we're doing it in person on Beach to Beacon, what's up about the 5K race, Peter? Coming back, we think. So far, so good. Looking like we're going to do a race in person sometime in September. More yeah. as it gets yeah. closer. Are we still having a block party, too? Don't know yet. Okay. We will uh, find out. Yeah. Let everybody know soon. Also coming in fall of 2022 is an auction. And if you're interested in helping us put that together, oh, that's right. email Whitney and she will email you back. And the anniversary is every five years. That is correct. Yeah. Typically. It may be one exception one year, but otherwise it's every five years. That's right. Okay. I think yeah. that just uh, wraps up this episode. Next time, stay tuned as Noel will give us his review, correct, of yeah the movie that you have all selected all right we'll, we'll dig in deeper to the two hot dogs in one bun if that makes it a sandwich or not and yeah no it's not all right guess we're done with that and uh i guess we're good Let's see you next bye, bye to the audience bye, bye to the audience bye, bye. 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 bye.